Hi, this is James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, here to talk about Bobal, B-O-B-A-L. That's the grape. And here's an example of this wine here. This is a Bobal, which is pretty rare to see the varietal on a European-produced bottle of wine. But you do have this in Spain, and you do have that for the Albariño grape as well. And for me, this is a, a treasure. And a lot of people don't realize this is the third largest produced grape varietal in Spain. You have the Arin, which is the number one produced wine grape in Spain, and that's about 305,000 hectares. You have the Tempranillo at about 190,000 hectares, and you have this grape at about 90,000 hectares. And it's really interesting because this is quartered in Util Requena. So you can see here, you can see the um, DOC here, um, Util Requena, and that's their, their uh, symbol, their logo. And for me, this is a, it's a gorgeous heritage mark for this wine. It is something that tasting this wine, even smelling this wine, you're asking yourself, where have you been all my life uh, if you've never had a Bobal? It is a really lyrical, hauntingly gorgeous wine. Very earthy notes. Uh, typically, you're going to get notes of lavender, eucalyptus, a little bit of mushroom, um, notes of um, really gorgeous uh, wild strawberry, mountain strawberry, raspberry. Um, but the fruit isn't driving this. I think it's really the, uh, the spice notes, the floral notes, um, the, the earthen notes. And for me, that's, that's what seals the deal for this varietal here. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, uh, Util Urquena is in Valencia. You can see it here on the map of Spain. And uh, moving along here, you can see some other pictorials um, of this region as well. So it's not on the seaside, as you can see here but it is near the city of Valencia. So for me, it's a fantastically wonderful varietal that if you have not tried, I would urge you to pick one up. Now, I would definitely serve this with food, um, maybe as your first go around. Uh, salmon would be ideal, but you know, I think also turkey would be really nice with this because when I taste this one, I'm tasting Pinot Noir, I'm tasting Gamay, I'm tasting uh, even Tempranillo, but not one of those wines exclusively. It's like an admixture of all three. Uh, giving the the you know the structure, the weight, the acid profile, a little bit of everything from those varietals end up in this wine. Though there's no genetic relationship to the best of my knowledge at all, but it's just one of these wines that I like to call out. For more wine reviews, please go to jameswineguide.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google Plus, and Pinterest. Salud.